Welcome back everybody, some more Everybody's Golf on PlayStation 4. Bit of a special video today, I wanted to talk about spin. I think I've been promising this one for a while, but today I'm finally going to produce the video. Um, and what I really want to do was, was show you the various types of spin you can put on the ball, the various ways you can augment your, your spin, and um, just generally talk about why you'd want to use spin and, and what it means for your game. So we've got ourselves onto the inward nine of, of um, the Green Country Club. And I'm just gonna find myself a nice hole. Clearly Don't not that one. Uh, uh, let's go to maybe 11. Let's find somewhere we can kind of get our woods and our irons out and, and have a good long look at, at how spin works. Oh, 11. 11. A 11 looks a good candidate. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna look at, and I'll, I'll use standard clubs to start with. We're going to have a quick look at... Oh, 11. It's a par four. Yeah, I need to change my clubs here. Hold on a second. So we're going to stand the club, stand the balls. And first thing we're going to do, we're just going to hit the ball normally. So just a standard shot. It's a little bit of tailwind. And you'll see... <laughs> marker, the orange marker in the centre of the ball in the bottom right. And that means you've hit it with no spin. You've hit the centre of the ball. Although in my case, I missed my impact. And that's your standard shot. So there's no top spin, there's no back spin, there's no side spin. You just hit it in the middle. Okay. And that's your standard your standard shot. And you should be relatively familiar with that. So what we're going to do is look firstly at back spin. So back spin is where you hit the bottom of the ball effectively in, the, in this sort of context. Um, in reality, it's not really what you do. But let's leave that to one side. So how do I apply back spin? Well, one of the things you can do while you're hitting the ball is you can hold the direction key. So if I swing as normal and I hold down, you'll see the down indicator lights up on the ball. And my marker goes red. Now, actually, it hasn't gone very fast. It didn't hit my impact. But red means you've applied spin to the ball. And what it should do is shorten up its roll. So it should travel safe sort of distance, but it should shorten its roll. Now, with a wood, that effect isn't particularly pronounced. With an iron, particularly with a pitching wedge, you should see a real a real effect. So let's try a bit of backspin with this one. So you'll see the red marker. And you see it's a little bit lower down because I hit the impact. Perfect impact matters for spin. And it'll drop and it should spin back. Well, it didn't quite. So a bit of backspin, but you'll notice it didn't roll very far at all. It kind of, it died. As soon as it hit, it died. And that's what backspin does. So that's standard backspin. So let's go back and try that again. But this time we're going to use top spin instead of backspin. So top spin, as you might guess, is the opposite of backspin. So we're going to hit above the centre of the ball and we're going to use the up direction to apply it. So same setup. It's a powerful. Wind's about the same. But this time, rather than hitting, holding down, and I'll try and aim for a similar spot, we're going to hold up. So set the power, set the impact. You'll see this time the oh, red mark is above the centre of the ball. So we've applied top spin. Now top spin increases your roll. So the ball should skip on. And if you look, it rolls further. So we've got a bit more travel. So for woods, top spin is really useful because you want it to roll further. Usually, in most cases. So again, let's try it with a wedge. It's the same sort of setup. But this time I'm going to hold top spin. And we'll see what happens to the ball. So this time, you see the red marker just above the ball. It'll bounce, good, good. and it'll run on much further than last time. So the top spins increase the roll of the ball. Why would you want to do that? Well, you might, you know, be a little bit short with your club and, and want to get a bit more length out of it. But more usually, you want to use the slope of the green to get the ball So you might want to use your top spin, not to stop the ball near the hole, but perhaps you're going to pitch it short and roll it up. So that's top spin. There's no prices for guessing how we apply side spin. Side spin, guess what? We hold left and right. And what it'll do is it'll curve the path of the ball. So currently, the ball's gone pretty straight. What we're going to do this time is apply side spin. Now, this is an ideal example. We've got a bit of a crosswind. So at the moment, the ball's going to fly. If I aim there, the ball will end up over there. So what I'm going to do is, is aim this way. But I'm going to put some right side spin on it. And what that'll do is it'll... Oh, sorry, left side spin I'm going to use. And with a bit of luck, what it should do is straighten the path of the ball up. So if you think about it, if I hit the left-hand side of the ball, it'll curl to the right, but against the wind. So let's do it. Hold left down. Apply the spin. 
you'll see it's just to the left hand side of the centre of the ball. But look at the path of the ball. It hasn't bent the wind at all. In fact, it's gone into the wind. So that side spin's applied a force and curved it into the wind. So again, let's look at that here. So we've got a real crosswind here. So let's do the opposite. So let's do right side spin this time. So what that should do, if I hold right, apply the spin. Watch the path of the ball now. Starts out way right and curls right round. And again, you'd have seen on the red marker, we hit on the right hand side of the ball. You'd also know it's, 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 it's come a bit shorter. So because the lengths used up in the curl. So effectively, it does shorten your shot a little bit side spin in my experience. Um, and you can't apply spin to putts. Although I really wish I could. That was a dis that's a disgraceful putt to me. So that's side spin. And that's your basic level of spin. So you just hold the direction you want to apply it in. Um, and you apply it. Now, there's more than a type of spin that you can apply. So we can also apply what's called super spin. To do super spin, we apply the spin twice. So what we do first is, before we set our power, we set the opposite direction that we want. And then when we set the power, we set the direction we do want packed. Now, that may not make much sense, but let's try it. So let's try super backspin first. So to do super backspin, I'm actually going to put top spin on the ball first. So I'm going to hold up when I hit X. And then when I've set my power, I'm going to hit down. And with a bit of luck, I'll get a blue marker and I'll get super spin. So let's try it. So we're going to hold up, see the marker, and then we're going to hold down. Oops, and I accidentally applied ultra shot. spin. We'll come back to that. So I got the purple marker there. And you'll see it really stops. Look how much that stops. And in fact, this will spin back. So that was ultra spin. We'll come to ultra spin. Let's try super spin again. It's the same as last time. This time we're going to hold top. Up. And then we're going to hold down. Oh, now see I missed my perfect Holy impact. Joy. So I only get standard spin. The marker was red. So to get super spin, you have to hit the oh, impact. So we'll try that again. We'll try that again. But well, let's try our birdie putt first. And that's the distinction between normal spin and ultra spin. Yes. You have to hit the impact. So again, something to think about. If you're not particularly good at your, at your impacts and you want to put spin on, you probably just want to apply normal spin. But if you really want that, if you want to curl it, you want to grip it, you want it to roll, then you want to apply super spin, but you have to hit the impact. So let's try that again, but this time we'll do super backspin. Sorry, super top spin I meant. So let's do super top spin. So let's do super top spin. Just see where I'm aiming. We're going to hold down. Then we're going to hold up. Hit the impact. Blue marker. And see how much further up the ball the impact marker is. Now this should roll much further. It bounces and it should bound right on. So that's super top spin. Really useful with the woods. Less useful with the irons, but there are occasions when it's it's a useful shot to pull out your pull out your bag. So let's try it again. Down and then up. Hit the impact. Get the blue marker. And this should roll a fair way on the green. Now that's quite useful when you're using approach shots because you might want it to roll. For the body. And that was quite a good shot, actually. I'm quite proud of that. And you can also apply super spin to the left or right. So let's have a quick look at super spin to the left or right. Let's boogie back up. And super spin's exactly the same on the sides. So you apply the opposite side. So in this case, the wind's going to come from over our right shoulder. So I want to hold it up into that wind. So I want to do... I want to hold right first, then left, to curl it from left to right. So we hold right, then we hold left, hit it, and you'll see the blue marker for super spin, and you get much more bend on the ball. Now the other advantage of the super spin shots is if you hit the pin. Unlikely I'll hit the pin, but if you hit the pin with a super spin shot, you can get a rising shot, which I think is super top spin, a homing shot, which is super back spin, or a spiral shot, which is the the super side spins. I'm pretty sure I can't hit one of those, but you know, if I could, this would be a great video. Miss the impact, so you see you get the red marker, and you just get standard spin. Good, good. So there's one more type of spin to look at, and, and you sort of saw it before, which is which is ultra spin. And you think of ultra spin as a special super spin. The difference being 
that you apply the second nice direction of spin just as you set your impact point. Nice and again, I'll try and show that to you. And if you rewind the video, you'll see it. I got the purple marker. I've been practicing it quite a lot in the rubs this video, so it came a bit of a, a bit of an instinct. So let's try a bit of super back, um, ultra backspin. So to set it up, same as if you're doing super backspin, we're going to hold up first, but we're not going to hold down until now. Oh, I just missed it. So you just want to hit your spin direction just as you hit your impact. And if you get your impact, then you get it on the right timing you'll get ultra backspin. Now I only get normal backspin there because I've missed my perfect impact. So again, the penalty of, of missing your impact is that you, you just get normal spin. So you kind of need to consider that and, and the kicker with ultra backspin, if you don't get the direction button pushed in time, you might get no spin at all, get the orange marker and a standard shot. So let's try that again. So we're gonna hold up set the power wait 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 then down and there you go. got it see the purple marker so this is now ultra back spin and if you watch it'll stop so much it may even spin back yeah i think it will now not much use with the wood because you know who wants to do that with the wood incredibly useful with an iron let's see if we can pull it off so we're going to pitch it past the flag ah oh, missed it see i get the orange marker there because i missed my impact I get no spin at all. I just get a standard shot. Roll with it. Go for the birdie. Let's see if we can... Um... I've missed that, haven't I? Um, let's see if we can pull it off and I can show you. Oh, that birdie shot. I'll see if I can show you. Because it's worth... It's quite a good trick to pull. Particularly if you've got a pin that's really close to the front edge of a green. And what you might want to do is just pitch it past and use your ultra spin to bring it back. So you don't end up on the fringe or in a bunker. So let's try super tops, ultra top spin this. So actually let's do ultra side spin. So exactly the same principle. We're going to hold right, set the power, wait, 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 left, purple marker. Now watch how much this will bend. It really moves. So if you need to avoid an obstacle or you want to get it hooked around or you want to hold it up in the wind... Ultra side spin is is pretty impressive. So let's give um let's give ultra backspin another stab. So we're gonna hold up. We're gonna pitch it past. Ah, missed it. Yeah, we'll just get standard spin. So this will stop it. Oh. But if you notice that bounded on, you know, a couple of yards and rolls back, maybe a foot. But what we really want is we want it to aggressively come back. Um, and in fact, if you watch my some of my earlier videos, you'll see me apply a bit of ultra backspin, and it goes on my own. Well, what, what we'll do, and we'll keep trying to hit it. There are some other ways to get more spin on your ball, and there's a specific club and a specific ball. So the specific club is the turbo spin club. The turbo spin club only really impacts your backspin, so it gives you more backspin than a standard club. Um, this is only really useful when you're below rank 7. Uh, because obviously at rank 7 you just build custom clubs and you can build a custom club with loads of spin. So we've got the turbo spin club on. Now this won't change anything about side spin or top spin, but it will change your backspin. So let's try and do ultra backspin with a turbo club. There you go. It's a purple marker. Turbo spin club. Let's see how far back this comes. So pitches, pretty much stops. Spin kicks in comes back again not very impressive on the woods should be more impressive i can actually hit it with an iron so let's play it on there oh missed it always the way but again because we've got a turbo spin club even standard spin should have more effect yeah it's got a bit more effect so that's your turbo spin club let's see if i can nail that that's gonna not have enough legs the other thing we can do Got break, 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 break. No legs. Yeah, garbage, garbage shot. Focus. We'll quit out of that. The other thing you can use is the side spinner ball. There are no prices for guessing. The side spinner ball gives you more side spin. Um, and again, the side spinner ball doesn't work with top spin, doesn't work with back spin. It only works with side spin. But the beauty of that, of course, you can use a club. So you can use it with a turbo spin club. You can use it with a custom club. It's a powerful. So let's do that. So let's set standard club. Let's use a side spinner ball. And let's try and get some side spin on it. So, where are we going to aim? We're going to aim there. 
and let's go right. And let's try and get ultra spin on it. Ah, oh, I missed it. So just standard spin. But again, you'll get more spin from this ball than you will out of a standard ball. And it's quite nice because you can combine it with um, a custom club. The final trick you can do is you can actually combine two types of spins together. So you can do top and side spin at once. So let's try a super back side spin. So I'm going to hold up and left and then down and right. So up and left, set, down and right. And then you can have back spin and side spin. And that's occasionally quite handy. That's not bad. That's not bad, sure. So that's pretty much it, apart from my inability to hit ultra spins on irons when I want to. <laughs> Get in the hole. There you go. So let's try that one more time. See if we can do an iron shot. Ultra spin. And that will wrap the video up. So some things to bear in mind while I'm trying to see if I can show you an ultra spin on an iron. It's been really useful to avoid things. So as you can see from bending the flight path, you can avoid trees, other obstacles. You also might want, for instance, to land it there, but don't want to go all the way over that rough and risk landing in the rough. So let's use a bit of side spin and see if we can shape the shot, as I like to call it. So I'm going to hold right, then I can hold left. Missed it by a mile. But if you watch, it will curve left to right, so it stays over the fairway and cuts the corner off. So it would be really useful just to improve your ability to hit fairways or put balls in specific spots. Okay, so let's try ultra backspin. Come on. So let's pitch it past. Ah, oh, I missed it. Never mind. And some other things to bear in mind are, oof, that wasn't great, was it? Um, but we can have the chance of the ultra backspin. So let's see if we can get it. Got it. So we pitch it up, it lands, and it'll come back. Purple sparkly bits, but it went much further. So really useful around the greens. So there you go. Go out and practice your spin and use it to help you get a better position, avoid obstacles, or just generally make impressive shots. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to leave a comment below, that would also be really good. Particularly if there's a specific part of everybody's golf you're interested in. I'd be happy to make a video for you playing it. See you next time.